Hi everyone, Keela Sentry here. Um, met up with uh, Pocketman and Paul Springett the other day. And um, yeah, that was my first catch up with the uh, Lock Sporters face to face. And uh, you know, we, we went out for a coffee and had a bit of a bit of a chat about YouTube and locks and all that sort of stuff. So two awesome Lock Sporters, two awesome pickers. Um, yeah, it was just a great experience and uh, looking forward to the next time we meet up. Because we all live in the same city, so it's it's really really good. It'd be good to meet everyone out of the lock sports community, but you know it's a global thing, so it's a bit hard. Anyway, I'll get right down to it because there's a lot of stuff to get through. But um, uh, received two two packages from uh, Pocket Woman. One is a, a borrow box, and the other one is a keep box. So we'll go through the borrow one first, and these are her treasured ones. So okay, and straight off we have a pack lock. So this is a 410 Pro. So that will be awesome to pick, a 410 Pro. I've never picked a, a, a seven pinner before. I, I have attempted to, but that was a totally different lock. But I, I like the way pokemon has got all her um, locks labeled and organized. I should start doing that. Yeah, this is, this, that's the bidding on the key. A seven pinner. Works perfectly. Good for Lotto Lock Tuesday. I'll put these back in the box. Like I said, there is a lot to get through, so I'll try to make a short video. Well, not a half hour video, because I did one before and it went for 53 minutes with Paul's and uh, Pock Woman stuff. So this is an Abus Brady's. I um, don't know what this one is. It's probably got more information on here. I'm not sure of the model. 7440. So that's an Abus Brady 7440. And I think with the keyway, this one is the triple eight keyway. And it depends what angle you look at it from, you can see Abus spelt in the keyway. I'm not sure if I can catch it on the camera or not. It'd be in real life you can actually make it out. It spells Abus sort of thing. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so that'll be another Lotto Lock one there. Um, we have a master. 400B Keyway, okay. This is a red one here, no key with this one. And it's got the 400B Keyway, so that should be a nice pick, this one. I've got orange, I've got an orange one and a blue one of these, but not a red. Um, uh, Wilson Bohannon, padlock there, very, very nice. Let's get some focus back down here, maybe. Yep. So Wilson Bohan in there. Um, as the keyway there. Just a nice, heavy, beautiful lock. And this one's from Chris Capune, as you can tell. <laughs> the paracord, of course. Um, got another one here. Again, the paracord. So we, we know who that's from. Look at this um, beautiful American lock. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful lock. I love that. It's just all brass. Just absolutely wonderful just a, just a real real heavy lock real solid and beautiful to look at looking forward to picking that one American lock I haven't picked one of these before this will be I haven't picked it, any of these before really well I do have Abus uh, Brady ones but they're a little bit different to this uh, with the lottos this is an American and she received this from Jake 1973 so it's a serious 1105 and that's the keyway there. Wow, quite a bit in here actually. Uh, and another one from Mr. Capune. And this is a Brinks laminated padlock. So it's a 40 millimeter, I think, yep. 40 millimeter, yep. And that's the bitting there. So I'm looking forward to picking all of these. Oh, I've got a number three, master number three from, you guessed it. <laughs> And this is this is the commercial line, so I'm not sure what the differences are. I remember Pokemon doing a Lotto Lock Tuesday with this one. That might be a log out, tag out lock. Got another Brinks here. Uh, this is a 38 millimeter brass long shackle padlock, and um, I've never picked a Brinks before. First time holding one. Part well, this is the first time I hold one. Second time I'm holding another one. And there's the bitting there. Look how organised she is, she's got everything on it. Oh, yeah. I've got to start doing that. 
Oh, Avis 8550. That's a beautiful one, that one. Lock code Germany. Nice. And that's the bitting on the key there. So you've got some lows and highs down the back. That's just a beautiful, beautiful lock. I love Avis locks. Really, really nice locks. So that is the uh, borrow, uh, the borrow box. I'll try to put these in like as neatly as possible. I don't want to damage anything. So I know these are her Pride and Joy locks. So um, I'll just put them aside for now, and uh, I'll repack that later. Now for the key box, <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> so this is this is the key box. <laughs> And <laughs> come with a lot of stuff. So a lot of ass assortments. So we've got wipe inserts in three different sizes. So this will be good for making tensioners and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got some, I see some e eject tips in different sizes. I've got some from Alex Who, but these are different size. I believe these have a four mil uh, shaft and a six mil head. And these have a four mil head with the 1.5 mil shaft so this goes into the little you know your dd picks this goes into the fidget spinner one the all silver type and this one will fit into the blue handled one like so front tensioning rear tensioning um yeah and another thing that really surprised me that pokemon gave you was um these uh what do they call them streets street sweeper bristles I don't think we had these in, in, in Australia because we live on opposite sides of the city and down south I don't think they use these but I've only seen people in America use these and um, she, she told me these are really good for making picks. I think she, she said that Sure uh, makes his picks out of this stuff so this that'll be interesting to do, that'll be good to get into. <sighs> I'll try to make this quick guys <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff. So we've got a Master Magnum. Uh, combo lock so I'm gonna get into doing some decoding because I haven't done much decoding stuff at all so I haven't really got into combo locks but now that I have some some combo locks I definitely will be uh, we've got a black spur as well so black spur there combo lock and a bricks combo lock this is a dial combination style one so Similar to the Master, but just Brinks. Uh, don't know the combination of any of these, so that'll be fun. Uh, and we've got two more here. We've got a word lock in there. So instead of numbers, it's got letters. And I'm not sure if that's a Master or not, or like a Master clone. Um, yeah, I do have a Lockwood one of these, which I cannot open. Similar to this one, but a little bit different. And three more combo locks here. <laughs> she's really generous, Pokemon. I just she's gone above and beyond. I'm absolutely wowsed by all the stuff that she's given me. It's just crazy. It's like doubled my lock collection, pretty much from her and Paul alone. Um, so we've got an Able one here. So it's just a combination padlock. Another one here. That don't know the name of that one. It's a, it's a nice looking one though. And we've got another one down here, so I don't know the combo to any of these. So I have to get my shims out and start working on them. And then we got these little mini combo locks. These are three. Oh, this one's a four here. So that's similar to, to a Lockwood one or a Master one, that one looks like. And we've got like a TSA combo one there. Some other different ones there. So that'll be fine. It's like, that's a Master one, that black one. You can just make out the writing. Not sure what the other ones are, but I'll be I'll be doing I'll be doing videos on all of these. So and I've got a euro euro cylinder, and it's written on here that it's from Paul Spring. So Paul Spring did pass some things on to Pocketman to give to me as well. So I've got a whole bunch of wafer locks in here. So I've been thinking um, I want to make a challenge lock from a wafer lock. Don't know if it's possible, but I will give it a crack. So, um, yeah, I've got plenty to play around with here. No keys, so I'm going to try to SPP them and that sort of thing. Um, got another padlock here. Uh, this is like a... It's a wolf dog. <laughs> Look at these tiny, tiny keys. 
Look at that tiny, tiny keyway. That's the tiniest, tiniest keyway. I'm not sure if I'm going to tension that. That'll be fun. Um, wolf dog. Ne never seen these before. These are cool. And we've got a car lock here. So sorry, I'm not showing all, all these in detail, but there's a lot, lot to get through. So um, yeah, just the car. There's the door lock or boot lock, judging by this little clip here. So we're we'll getting into that one. We've got two more wafer locks here. This is also from Paul Springer. Um, not sure what that will come out from, but yeah, what nice wafer locks. A couple of um, Dow followers, which will come in handy. Awesome. And a whole bunch of <laughs> Lotto locks. Because we all know that Puck Woman is the Lotto Lock Queen, so of course it has to be Lotto Locks. And we've got quite a variety here, so they're, they're all Master Locks. Um, so this one here is a yellow one, no key. And I'm not sure if I'm I'm not a master of these, so I don't know the uh, the keyway what they are. It might be a 400 B. I'm not sure. Maybe it says on the box. I know there's a 410 and a 400 B key. Oh, this is a 410 key. 410. We've got another one here, another yellow one, and that's a 410 as well. Here we've got. Another yellow one, and the 410 keyway as well. Oh, I think that one's got a key in it. And another one here, the blue one, stickers. Um, so yeah, they all work, they're all fine, like brand new. That's the bidding on that one. So a bit of gatekeeper on one, I'd say. <laughs> Two more to go, but this is just blowing me away. The generosity is just blowing me away. Um, thank you, Pokemon, so much. Here's another one, another blue one there. Look at the bitting on that. That should be fun. And this is a 410 keyway. This one, 410. I know that there's a few different variations of the masters. You've got the 400, the 410, the 400B. I'm just learning my lottos, so. This would be a good learning experience for them. And the last one is another yellow one. And it's got that, it's got, this one's got the black on it. And it looks like a 410 as well, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, thank you very, very much, Pocketman. This is a bundle of stuff. I'm just gonna spread it out to show you guys the generosity of everything that she has given me. I mean, wow, cannot thank you enough, Pocketman. I mean, look at all this stuff. <laughs> it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. This is the full table, a full look 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 at all that stuff. Wow. This is this is gonna keep me busy for a long, long time. Thank you very much, Pock Woman. You are a bloody legend. Thank you so much. Um I'm looking forward to, do, to doing more trades and um swaps and borrows in the future. So Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to do another video straight after this because I've got some stuff from Paul Springer as well. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Take care.